All right, so hello, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Stephen Schaefer. I am so glad to be happy. I'm so glad to be happy. Yes, I'm very glad to be happy, but I'm also happy to be here with you sharing this information that might be useful or at least somebody out there. Now, the day, today we have an interesting question, and the question is from our most favorite user, at sign, at sign 313. It goes a little something like this. Did you ever have any run-ins with law enforcement? How did you deal with them and when they question you slash ask you for identification? Some of the states you have traveled to have rough cops. Any tips? Thanks for sharing your travels and experiences. At sign, at sign. Well, thank you, at sign, at sign 313. Yes, I did have a couple of experiences with the cops. And if you're gonna be hitchhiking across the country, which I do slightly recommend, I think it is good to know how to prepare for such an event. The first thing is, as always, Hitchhiker's Guide, do not panic. Don't worry too much about it. Um, most likely it's not going to be too bad, but cops are like gangsters. They can hurt you very bad, even if you're not doing anything wrong. And um, it's important to be aware that there is a danger in dealing with the police because they are people with guns, and people with guns can be dangerous sometimes. So first thing um, is... You want the police to feel like they are in authority at all times because that's why they took the job. They took the job because they wanted to feel like they have authority. And if you try to take that authority away from them by saying, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, man. You know, I have my rights, man. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. They're going to see that as a challenge to their authority. And they've got the gun. Okay, they've got the gun, right? You have nothing, right? You have nothing. So just throw your pride out the window when talking to police. Better to live and fight another day than not to live at all, or however that saying goes. So don't try to stand up to them. That's rule number one. I've seen people, I met this kid who decided he was going to yell at the cops for arresting somebody else and of course the cops went to arrest him and then he just stood there like this and he didn't move and he didn't listen to anything that they were doing and so they eventually tased him which of course they're doing the wrong of course right he wasn't doing anything wrong the police were doing the wrong but still you have to be a little smart in this world and yeah there's bad guys and they shouldn't be doing what they're doing but you still just do what they say. They're the guys with guns. You, want, you don't want to go to jail. So that's your rule number one. Don't get your pride involved. Let it be. Be proud of the fact that you're alive and clever. Rule number two is you want them to feel like you're, you know, you're, they're, you, they will feel good about letting you go, right? You want them to feel like they are on your side you're not a bad guy, you're not here robbing anybody, you're not here hurting anybody, you're here to listen, you know, you're not talking back, you're here to listen to what they have to say, because to them, they legitimately feel like this is their territory, and you may be encroaching on it. I know it's not true, but, you know, just, just pretend with them, it'll help a lot. So you want them to feel like they um, are doing themselves a favor and that they will feel good by letting you keep doing what you're doing. That's a good general rule with assholeish people that you that have some kind of authority over you. But for police, that's especially true. Just you know, let them let them be. You know, they have a miserable life most likely. Uh, you know, if they're asshole cops, and you know they're gonna go home and be miserable, and you're gonna go have a good time. And don't worry about it. you already won. The fact that you're not a police officer and they are a police officer means that you already won. So don't worry too much about it. Now. <sighs> so you want to get them on your side. You want to get them to feel like you to like they will be helping the whole world, helping you, and helping themselves, making themselves feel good by letting you go. Um, then, just in general, be nice to them, listen to them, ask them questions so you like make it seem like you're trying to never have this situation happen again. Like, well, I didn't know this was illegal. Could you tell me how this is illegal? Because I want to make sure I don't do this again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, piss you off or whatever it is I won't do that again but I'm trying to understand you know let them know that you have you know you're trying to get somewhere you're not just leeching off of people you're trying to do something in particular um, you want to have a mutual understanding but ask questions 
don't make them feel like they, you know, they're just trying to, uh, don't make the, don't make it easy for them to dehumanize you. If you ask questions and you you seem like you're actually interested because you don't want to just be a jerk to them, then they will be very likely to to help you. Most police officers run into lots of people all the time who are just constantly trying to like, you know, yank them off a little bit. So instead, just be a little nice to them and say, hey, you know, it's it's okay. Um, and that's that's a good general rule for assholes who have authority over you in general, but especially for assholes who have authority over you who have a gun. <laughs> that's just in general, you know, don't mess with people with guns. That's a good general rule. So <laughs> after that, um, uh, yeah, I, I got two tickets. Um, I was given a ticket in Denver and in, um, uh, what's it called, Ocean Beach or Oceanside, Oceanside, California, for uh, trespassing on property. Uh, there were local warrants. Um, if I go back to those towns and get in any kind of legal trouble, then those extra things will be tacked on, but it's very unlikely that I'll have any legal trouble in those towns. Um, and you are probably not gonna get in legal trouble. There is a risk though, just like with anything. You know, don't take my word for it. I'm just some amateur guy that may have gotten completely lucky and everybody else is having a horrible time. So don't, uh, don't just take my word for it, you know, be smart, just to, you know, be skeptical about everything you do, um, and, uh, you know, play, play it pretty safe and have a good time, you know, and that's, that's the important thing. Um, as far as police, that's just about as far as I can, uh, as much information that I can give you. As always, thank you so much for, uh, asking your excellent questions. Thank you so much for uh, listening or, I guess, watching and reading the Anywhere blog. Thank you so much for anything that you're doing that's, uh, that's, that's anything. <laughs> if you're doing something awesome, thank you. And I uh, recommend everybody go out and do all of the awesome things you really want to do. And um, if you have any questions, please go to add the Ask a Question section up there or on the website at anywhereblog.net. And um, thank you. Uh, yeah. Have an excellent day, and uh, see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to point out that this is my tripod here. Um, we have a... <laughs> We have a, uh, what's it called? A, um, oh my goodness, what are these things called? A uh, TV tray with a bar stool on top of it. And then, of course, a miniature uh, ironing board on top of that. And then a another chair on top of that. All the necessities and, of course, quarters to keep it from, from moving around. So this is how, how the show is being done. Um, uh, if you got boots, they've got straps. So here we go.